from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, March the 15th, 2018. An IDF patrol came under attack this morning along Israel's border with Gaza. Two improvised explosive devices were detonated along the security fence, and it seems an anti-tank missile or rocket-propelled grenade was also fired at the troops. No soldiers were injured and there was only light damage to a military vehicle, but the IDF called the incident very serious. Army spokesperson Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Conrakis told reporters today we will not allow Hamas to turn the security fence into a combat zone. According to the IDF, the two IEDs were set off inside Gaza at a significant distance, about 328 feet from the security fence targeting the soldiers on a routine patrol. In response, Israeli tanks targeted Hamas positions in Gaza, saying it holds Hamas responsible for all incidents of terrorism that happen under its jurisdiction. Austrian Chancellor Sebastian Kurz asked his cabinet to establish a memorial site in Vienna with the names of all 66,000 Austrian Jews who perished in the Holocaust. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu wrote of the initiative on social media today, thanking the chancellor for his actions and words. On Monday, Kurz spoke at an event marking the 80th anniversary of the Anschluss, when the Nazis rolled their tanks into Austria where he vowed to do more for Holocaust education and commemoration. Kurz said remembering in an honest way means admitting the truth. He said we have realized that Austria was not only a victim but also a perpetrator. And we have followed up on this realization with concrete actions, adding that Austria has looked away for too long and has fulfilled its historic responsibility too late. Earlier this week, Israel's foreign ministry director Yuval Rotem was in Vienna and met with Kurz, who had also met with Netanyahu on the sidelines of the Munich Security Conference last month. And Germany has a new foreign minister who said he got into politics because of the Holocaust. Heiko Maas was inaugurated yesterday at the German Foreign Office headquarters in Berlin. In his speech, he said, with all due respect, I did not enter politics because of former Chancellor Willy Brandt. I also didn't go into politics because of the peace movement or ecological issues. He said, I entered politics because of Auschwitz. And that's also why this part of our work is especially important to me. Heiko also said he would be visiting Israel soon. And Polish lawmakers yesterday approved a new national holiday honoring Poles who risked their lives to save Jews during the Holocaust. The bill was initiated by President Andrzej Duda. It would make March 24th a national day of remembrance. It was approved 58 to 14 in the Polish Senate and now awaits Duda's signature to become law. Two never-before-seen Dead Sea Scrolls are on exhibit here in the United States. The scrolls, which are fragments, have never been viewed by the public before. They are part of a large-scale exhibit of the Israel Antiquities Authority, which also includes a three-ton stone from the Western Wall, 18 other scrolls, and some 600 biblical artifacts, which can be seen at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science in Denver, Colorado, beginning tomorrow, running through the summer. Israel's leading cybersecurity is the focus of the latest episode of the HBO News magazine show Vice News. In a video released today, Vice News reporter Ben Ferguson takes an up-close and personal look at Israeli innovations in the field at a Tel Aviv tech conference with an Israeli journalist and within the IDF. Distinguished sculptor and activist Anish Kapoor, together with the Genesis Prize Foundation, announced a $100,000 challenge grant to benefit Hyas, the global Jewish nonprofit that provides humanitarian aid and assistance to refugees. Kapoor, if you recall, received the Genesis Prize last year and pledged to use it to help refugees. The grant will be matched dollar for dollar by Hyas for donations made during this coming Passover. Co-founder and chairman of the Genesis Prize Foundation, Stan Polovitz, said Hyas is well positioned to improve the lives of tens of thousands of individuals seeking a new destiny, free of turmoil and uncertainty. 
Highest President and CEO Mark Hetfield said this generous gift is especially meaningful as we approach Passover and reflect on the Jewish people's historic refugee experience. Well, Israeli Wonder Woman star Gal Gadot is now also a global brand ambassador for Reebok. The actress signed a reportedly $10 million deal with the athletic apparel company announced today. Reebok general manager of the performance business unit, Todd Krinsky, noted Gadot's inspiring and relentless spirit and said the company wanted to work with women who, quote, instill confidence in all generations to take risks and to keep pushing all while making a positive difference in the world. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Thursday, March the 15th at 7 o'clock, it's the closing plenary of the APAC National Policy Conference held last week in Washington with remarks from Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, U.S. Ambassador to Israel David Friedman, and a number of Republican and Democratic congressional leaders. Then at 9, Mark Golub sits down with Palestinian Media Watch founder Itamar Marcus on the Chaim. And at 10, a look at Israeli and American Jews. And coming up right after this newscast tonight at 6.30, it's the Debka Files. And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, March the 15th, 2018. I'm Tisha Bader.